Russia's top diplomat Sergei Lavrov is in China for talks on the war in Ukraine, bilateral ties and the situation in Asia-Pacific region. The Russian foreign minister will talk with his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi on issues of discussion will include cooperation in international organizations such as United Nations and the G20. At the same time, as agreed between Washington and Beijing, U.S. Treasury Secretary is on a visit to China from the 4th to the 9th of April. Putin is expected to visit China in May for talks with Xi Jinping in what could, in, in what could be the Kremlin's first overseas trip of his new presidential term. Moscow and Beijing declared a no-limits partnership in February 2022 when Putin visited Beijing just days before Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine. It triggered the deadliest land war in Europe since World War II. Hit with sanctions that closed access to Western markets and finances after sending its troops to Ukraine, Russia has since become China's fastest-growing trade partner. She, in a call with Putin last month, said both sides should res resolutely oppose interference in domestic affairs by external forces, an apparent reference to the United States. Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Sun Weidong said that bilateral ties were at the best in history when he met his Russian counterpart in Moscow last month. U.S. Treasury Janet Yellen, Secretary, met with Chinese Central Bank Governor Pan Gongshin in Beijing on Monday. One day prior, on Sunday, Yellen sent a message of mutual cooperation at a meeting with Chinese Premier Li Xiang. She highlighted the improvement in relations since her visit to China last year, while recognizing that major differences remain. Yellen turned to the broader U.S.-China relationship in the meeting with Li, one of China's top leaders. She is focused on trade and economic issues during much of her visit to China. Well, we have more to do. I believe that over the past year, we've put our bilateral relationship on a more stable footing. This is not meant ignoring our differences or avoiding tough conversations. It has meant understanding that we can only make progress if we directly and openly communicate with one another. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.